guys so this is books that i did not finish because i like simply was not interested in them or just like could not relate to the books i read so many books and there's just gonna be ones that i don't like and don't want to finish which is perfectly okay like it's okay to not finish a book if you don't want to so yeah and also no hate to like anyone who does like these books or like these authors or anything like that is it's just my opinion and how I feel about like this story there's even a book in here by Lynn Painter that I didn't finish and I love literally like two of her other books like it's just this specific story that I personally didn't like or just like couldn't relate to any of the characters or the plot or anything so I didn't finish it but so the first one is in a New York minute by Kate Spencer this is a romance story and I this story is like honestly kind of like unique and fun and the meet cue is really nice in it there's a public meet cue um it takes place in New York um but yeah there's really like it's really a cute little like fun relationship between the characters but I just like I just felt like there wasn't any potential in the story for me like after I got past the first like the first bit of the story the meet cue like get to know the characters after that I just honestly just was not interested in like seeing where the story went so I did not finish that book and the next one I actually have here with me the storied life of AJ Frick Fickery by Gabrielle Seven um this is a fiction story but the story follows AJ who is a bookstore owner and he randomly comes upon this young girl well she's a baby at the time that he adopts and but this book includes like a lot of good information about bookstores and like other book like information and there is also some romance in it but I just and I, I read a good amount of this book like these are all like different times where I stopped reading the books I read like a like a lot of this book but I just couldn't like I just couldn't finish it like I was just so not interested in it at all Next one is Gone Too Far by Natalie Richards. This is a thriller book. So the main character, Piper, she finds a notebook filled with confessions from other like teenagers in the town of bad things that they have done. And, and so once she reads this book, someone, another teenager in the town ends up committing suicide. And in this book that she found, um, she found information of how he was bullied. And so she feels guilty and she takes it upon herself to like get revenge on these characters that she finds their confessions. Um, and so what I didn't like about this book was that I felt like this like plot is done a lot. Like I just felt like that specific plot of someone finding something, something happens, they get revenge. Like this one random person that finds something gets revenge on these other random people. Like I just felt like like discovering secrets and then like secretly getting revenge like I just feel like that's overdone a lot and I don't know so just because of that just the story just wasn't interesting to me the next one this is kind of a popular book like last year I think it was but um Butcher and Blackbird this is a romance thriller um by Bryn Weaver this is a romance thriller and also a dark rom-com which I think that is probably what may have thrown me off in the beginning because I didn't read a lot of this book so but I think that just threw me off because I don't read that ever so I was probably just confused and I was like what is going on um but yeah this story combines murder story and thriller elements with romance and so yeah I just <laughs> I don't know that's the whole story just probably threw me off so I just like wasn't interested in it at all I don't know why I thought I would like it like I don't know why I started to read that book but anyways the next one this is the one I was saying that I like other books from so this is Betting on You by Lynn Painter which is a romance novel and I actually have another one of Lynn Painter's books here from my bookshelf over there the do-over this is one that I really did like by Lynn Painter but with Betting on You I just I don't know probably because of the trope this one and the next one actually are both fake dating tropes which I guess I just don't like <laughs> like but um betting on you is a young adult romance and there's actually a really cute meet cute scene in this book as well it's on an airplane and then the characters reconnect years later 
um, as co-workers where they decide to fake date because of all these reasons, right? Um, but yeah, I, I think with this one, and then which leads us to the next book, which is Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood, also another really popular book, romance story. Um, this one follows um, a student who, and then like a, and then like a grad student also who's a doctor, um, when they fake date as well. And so I think as many romance books as I read, fake dating is very popular, but um, I guess I just don't like the fake dating trope. I don't know, because both the storytelling in both these books is really good, and obviously I love Lynn Painter's writing, but um, yeah, I guess fake dating is one romance trope that I don't like right now. Maybe I'll like it sometime in the future, I don't know, but but yeah, so those are all the books, um, not all of the books, but some of the books that I put on this list today that I did not finish. Um, again, it's totally okay to stop reading a book if you don't like it, um, and yeah, that's just my opinion on these books. No hate to the authors or anything, um, I just thought of this video and I wanted to do it, so, um, but thank you guys for watching and bye.